good morning but not a very good one for Fiki he's not well and even so he's still very faithful he had someone uh, someone talking to someone outside and he came to see who's here and he's just sitting out here it's a bit cool this morning hey Fiki so his symptoms showed up <clears throat> on the weekend I mean he was he was quiet and withdrawn Thursday, Friday, but he was still like chase goats and kids along the fence and back. And on the weekend, it became more clear that he was sick. And yeah, he's as you can see, he's breathing. He's got some labored breathing. Last night, he was not well. He sounded really, really congested. Like, you know, when it sounds like your lungs have got water, that's how he sounded. I was a bit scared. But um, today he woke up seeming much, much better. And yeah, he also has a urinary tract infection, I think, because he was peeing blood. And this morning it's not blood, it's pus. But anyway, thank goodness it's Monday and we are taking him to the vet. And hopefully it's something that is easily treatable. So we've just fed him so that he's eaten before we go and just washed his face. That's why he's sitting out here drying off. He's actually lost a bit of weight. Now, the thing with dogs when they're sick, one of the first things to go is they lose their appetite. And normally their nose is dry. And when their nose is dry, they don't want to eat. But Fiki's nose has been wet all along. Um, but he still doesn't have appetite. And... The thing is, a lot of times people will lose their dogs to death from starvation. Um, so what we've done is, before when Moana and Tiana were sick, uh, we googled what food is good for dogs if they don't want to eat. And basically searching through all these vets on YouTube, they suggest rice, pumpkin or butternut and chicken those three chicken breasts those three things they say are easier for the stomach to digest now that's what we used to have with our dogs and the funny thing is all the times they were sick when we were in town they happened to be butternut or pumpkin in the house but all the way out here we haven't got it and i don't even know if it's there in the market now and so we had to work with what we have we would blend the food for them because they wouldn't volunteer themselves to eat and um but this time we don't have a blender so instead of rice because we tried fiki with rice and he spit it out um we basically got porridge and we mixed it with um what you call chicken broth and the chicken breast he was volunteering himself to eat that um yeah but whenever he eats he eats small portions but yeah, it's good to get him eating and we give him water. There are times when he's eating chicken and he'll go and drink water. But there are t other times where he just takes long, a long time to drink water. So we've just taken water and basically fed him. And we try to give him slowly so he doesn't choke on it. Um, so yeah, so now we are about to go to the vet. We are leaving the vet. Uh, Fiki got his shots. Do you care about four shots? <laughs> mm. Four gems. More than four, about five gems. Five gems. Uh, and we got some tablets and yeah. So we are hoping to see him recover. In the meanwhile, um, Amon has an errand to run this side of town. I'll give you a trip of uh, a tour of Rinkini. A little bit. This is the industrial side. What do you call this side really? I mean. Mm. The industrial side. Okay. Yeah, but we're making our way to Rankini, which is really close to where the vet is. He wanted to do a quick errand, and I wanted to show you what the place looks like. This is a suburb called a Fun Groove. So Thorn Groove is where colored people lived um, during colonization. Should I call it colonization? Yeah. I don't know how, how, how to call it. <laughs> uh, before the country was independent, basically in Southern Africa. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched the movie Australia. And so with the history uh, when 
the when black people would have kids with uh, white people those kids would be removed from their families and they would live in one area and basically they, they then there was like sections of places for black people mixed people were, were called colored people here in southern africa and there would be sections for white people indians stuff like that right yeah so thorn group is a former colored community the thing is people are becoming more mixed now hey yeah. uh, if we're not no longer living uh in sections like we we did but you uh, still find a lot of people but you still find a lot of like in a former colored community you'll find a lot of colored more than blacks no yeah all right is that anyways this is where we're coming where amon is coming uh so yeah like we said we're going to do the tour and then this is the piece um where guys cut timber and they turn it into planks so this is the tick um there and then these are the pieces that i'm interested in and then this is the lord So on our way here we found a place, we've been seeing people carrying loaves and we were thinking there must be a bakery somewhere close but today we did find a place where they actually buy the loaves and we bought this for 10 rand which is 50 US cents. This is what Amon so was planning to get back. right here. Oh, okay. Amon is disconnecting the radio. So on the way we were stopped by the police and then they handed us to ZBC people and they were checking for radio licenses of which we didn't have and we didn't know that we needed a radio license for a car radio. Anyways, um, so they were charging us $31 and we were like, oh, we've got a sick dog. <laughs> so they patterned us. Um, and so Amon decided when we park somewhere, he's going to remove it because it wasn't even working and it nearly, it nearly costed us the price for the radio, no? Mm -hmm. We've got the planks and we are going home. So the reason why this place is called Rinkini is that there is a bus rink here. It's not right here, it's somewhere else in the front. I'll show you when we pass the bus rink. Are we going to pass by the bus rink? Yeah. yeah. So there's all kinds of businesses. Like if you look here, there are people who sell diesel and petrol. And yeah, so all these places, you always find a service of something. There's mechanics, there's welders. Here they sell gum poles. We bought gum poles that are part of our roof from this side of town and tube and tire replacement. I should zoom in. There's some gum poles over there. So there are people who get their services done in big factories like for instance with building material Amon tends to come and buy things this side you'll find that um, 
people who sell things this side are the same people who sell things to to factories. Chuffed with this car here. I love this car. <laughs> I mean, you name it, you find it here. And then of course you have the ladies with the vegetable stands. And cooking oils, everything. bus ring and so this is where the bus ring starts if you see this place with the shades uh, where there's a roof there that's where the buses are parked so when they call this rinkini it's literally from the English name the English words bus rank and yeah there's all the the taxis and buses there No, he isn't. We're actually getting fuel here. We found out that it's dollar forty seven per liter here. So that is Rankini behind us. I Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye bye.